Hello friends, so today in this video, we're actually going to discuss the first problem from the latest code forces round 720 problem name Nastia and nearly good numbers. So as you can see, I have submitted a lot of wrong answers in this problem. So like, I think that the first problem is not difficult. That's the mindset I have, but the problem statement is not written correctly. I must say that for this first problem, that's why a lot of people are getting wrong answers also and uh, so i'll tell you what i actually lag and then after that they actually added this sentence which actually make me understand because the problem statement is changed they add this sentence and that actually makes the problem statement more understandable and then i got the final like right answer so i'll tell you the problem statement it actually tells that you have to find out or like you are given a and b now there are two types of numbers or integers an integer is called gold if it's divisible by a into b Okay, so if an integer is divisible by a into b, then it is good. Otherwise, an integer is called nearly good if it is divisible by a. Now, what do you think from this statement? This statement was not there. So if a number is divisible by a into b, then it is good. And it is divisible by only a, then it is nearly good. Which can, like, you can deduce that, okay, if it is divisible by a and not by b, then it is nearly good. But the problem is not that. The problem is it is not divisible by a but it is not not written that it is not divisible by b it can be divisible by b also and that's the confusion which i was facing i thought that it is not divisible by b so i was writing conditions according to that but as you can see in the example if a is equal to uh, 6 and b equal to 4 the number which is divisible by a into b correct like strictly into b 24 so 24 72 and so on they are good but the number as you can see 12 it is divisible by a and it is divisible by b both still it is a nearly good number because it is not written that it should not be divisible by b okay it it only states that it should be divisible by a that's it so as you can see this is divisible by a and that's a nearly divisible number all the numbers except those are like we do not care about those so we have to find out three different okay different was also not written here different was written here you have to check that different positive integers x y z such that exactly one of them is good two of them are nearly good and x plus y equal to z like you have to find out three numbers such that the summation of two numbers equal to third number and one number is good and the other two numbers are nearly good now uh, what i actually did was okay if i want the condition to be true x plus y equal to z so x plus y equal to z i want num one number to be like a multiple of a into b so i just write down a into b into x like some multiple of a to b the other number should be divisible by a okay then it might be divisible by b or not but it should be divisible by a so i just write down because it's a divisible by a uh, sorry y times a this is some factor because this is some multiple of a and then z is actually uh, like z times a because the other number should be also divisible by a the two numbers are nearly divisible or nearly good and the one number is good i hope you get the point now if it just cut down this a's from all the sides because it is in multiplication it's equal to x b this is some like factor this is not actually x it's some factor x into a plus y is equal to z okay then if you just put x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 okay then it is like z equal to 1 plus b and that's the condition you can use so the condition which i actually used is and the condition is actually satisfied now so if i just make my x a into b uh, y equal to b or sorry a and z equal to b plus 1 which like which is like i'm taking common uh, a from this side it, it has become like this so this condition is satisfied and now as you can see in this condition uh, if i if i was given a and b a and b means that i am given a and b then i have to make the first number which is like perfectly good or like a good number multiple of a into b the next number should be only good or like nearly good so it, it is like multiple of a and the third number is also multiple of a okay and then this is some factor which doesn't matter because it's a multiple of a so this condition like this answer is perfectly looking good but there is one catch in this also because we have to find out three different numbers now as you can see these this number and this number cannot become same any case because this number is a into b and this number is if you expand a into b plus a so obviously this number is obviously greater than that but if a b 
is equal to this can happen when b becomes one and as you can see b can become one and thus that's the base case like you have to think over this also if b becomes one then like then as you can see b becomes one this num like any number because if b becomes one then it actually becomes a into b like a into b is equal to let's assume six if a is equal to six and b equal to one then a into b is six which is fine but any number if you choose out any non so you have to find two nearly good numbers and they should be divisible by a okay they should be divisible by a which is fine like they should be divisible by a but if you want to find out a nearly good number then you cannot find because see you have to find out two different numbers now like you have to find out two different numbers now then that can cause a problem you cannot find out two different numbers and thus for b equal to one this condition holds false because then these two numbers become same okay then b, b equal to one like uh, b equal to one then this number and this number become same and thus in that condition because i want two different numbers then that can cause a problem so the answer is just that i hope i'll take it on the code part now so if b is not equal to one then the answer is like which i've told you the three numbers are a into b only a and b plus one into a else if b equal to one then the answer is no and that's the whole like it's not a difficult problem to understand or grasp the concept but uh, because of the condition which was actually the example which was not written then i got confused i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention around i'll see you next one till then keep coding and bye